A man who dares to waste, one hour of time has not discovered, the value of life. Ignorance more frequently, begets confidence than does knowledge. Animals, whom we have made our slaves, we do not like to consider our equal. Man tends to increase, at a greater rate than, his means of subsistence. The love for, all living creatures, is the most noble attribute of man. My mind seems to have become, a kind of machine for grinding general laws, out of large collections of facts. I have tried lately, to read Shakespeare, and found it so intolerably dull that it, nauseated me. On the ordinary view, of each species having been, independently created, we gain no scientific explanation. A scientific man, ought to have no wishes, no affections, a mere heart of stone. I am not apt to follow, blindly the lead of other men. The mystery of the beginning, of all things is insoluble by us, and I for one must be content, to remain an agnostic. Intelligence is based, on how efficient a species, became at doing the things, they need to survive. Blushing is the most peculiar, and most human of all expressions. I love fools' experiments, I am always making them. The highest possible, stage in moral culture, is when we recognize that, we ought to control our thoughts. This preservation, of favorable variations, and the rejection of injurious variations, I call natural selection or the survival of the fittest. One general law, leading to the advancement, of all organic beings namely, multiply, vary, let the strongest live and weakest die. If the misery of our poor, be caused not by the laws of nature, but by our institutions, great is our sin. The survival of preservation, of certain favored words, in the struggle for existence, is natural selection. Keep steadily, in mind that each organic being, is striving to increase, that each at some period of its life, has the struggle for life, and suffer great destruction. The war of nature is not incessant, the vigorous, the healthy, and the happy survive and multiply. I have called this principle, by which each slight variation, if useful, is preserved, by the team of natural selection. Man tends to increase, at a greater rate, than his means of subsistence. To kill an error, is as good a service as, and sometimes even better than, the establishing of a new truth or fact. A moral being, is one who is capable of reflecting, on his past actions and their motives, of approving of some and disapproving of others. It is not the strongest, of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent that survives, it is the one that is the most adaptable to change. There is grandeur, in this view of life, with its several powers, having been originally, breathed by the Creator into, a few forms or into one. Besides love and sympathy, animals exhibit other qualities, connected with the social instincts, which in us would be called moral. 
Great is the power of steady misrepresentation. We stopped looking for monsters under our bed when we realized that they were inside us. What a book of devils Chaplin might write on the clumsy, wasteful, blundering, low, and horribly cruel work of nature. The mystery of the beginning of all things is insoluble by us, and I for one must be content to remain an agnostic. I am turned into a sort of machine for observing facts and grinding out conclusions. How paramount the future is to the present when one is surrounded by children. It is a cursed evil to any man to become as absorbed in any subject as I am in mine. In the long history of humankind and animal kind, too, those who learned to collaborate and improvise most effectively have prevailed. I see no good reasons why the views given in this volume should shock the religious views of anyone. We can allow satellites, planets, suns, universe, nay whole systems of universe to be governed by laws, but the smallest insect we wish to be created at once by special act. A man's friendships are one of the best measures of his worth. Thank you watching for video. Thank you.